Published 9.25 Eastern Standard Time, the 24th of January 2018. Updated 10.58 Eastern Standard Time, the 24th of January 2018. Another year, another head-spinning move in the career of Lisana Diara. That picture of stability in any midfield and yet a man whose wanderings are nigh on impossible to predict. It's one thing that he has just joined PSG when his last employment was with Al Jazeera Club. It is quite another that it might only rank as the third most surprising move of his career. This of course being the player who switched from Portsmouth to Real Madrid and from Real to Angie Makarkala when he was in his prime at 27 and Russia was one of the most appallingly racist environments for a footballer in Europe. Lesana Diara poses with the Paris Saint-Germain shirt after agreeing an 18-month contract but this latest move, on an 18-month deal, is delightfully left field. Not because of his qualities, he has been a brilliant deep-lying midfielder on his travels and as a 32-year-old he still has some mileage to offer, but career migration is simply not expected in this direction, when an aging player who chose to cash in at a club in Abu Dhabi is suddenly returned to a far grander stage. Does a decision to rake in the cash in a competition like the Arabian Gulf League say much or anything about a personality? That maybe they have lost the lust for truly pushing and improving, or is that nonsense, an irrelevance? Has the success of Paulinho's move to Barcelona from Guangzhou Evergrande proven that a player can have his cake, eat it, and then return for a proper kick around on a full stomach and be no worse off for it? The Frenchman gets to grips with Barcelona's Lionel Messi during his spell. At Real Madrid he spent two years with Chelsea but made just 13 Premier League appearances for the Blues 2004-2005 Le Havre 2-9-0-2005-2007 Chelsea 1-3-0-2007-2008 Arsenal 7-0-2008-2009 Portsmouth 2-4-1-2009-2012 Real Madrid 8-7-1-2012-2013 Angie Makarkala 1-8-0-2013-2014 Four locomotive Moscow 171 2015 2017 Marseille 371 2017 Al Jazeera 50 2018 present PSG 00 asterisk league appearances only that is what we will soon find out with Diara who now finds himself at one of the most ambitious clubs in Europe his current day abilities will be best assessed in the Champions League rather than League One, which looks something of a non-event after 22 rounds with PSG 8 points clear at the top despite losing at the weekend. The need for Diara in Paris is obvious, Thiago Motta is 35 and increasingly vulnerable to injury. And the timing is critical with a Champions League tie against Real Madrid three weeks away, a game that will signify exactly where the club stands in the Maymar era. They are growing, moving, spending. Which, again, makes this signing of a free agent feel a little unusual. But that is when it is perhaps necessary to momentarily park doubts over a player's past motivations and focus more on what they have demonstrated on the pitch. In the case of this weird and wonderful career, you wouldn't bet against a fine player turning up. You also wouldn't bet on just about anything else happening. Diara was labelled the new Claude Makélélé after he made his debut for first club La Havre. Diara holds up the FA Cup with Portsmouth manager Harry Redknapp after the 2008 final. La has been through 10 clubs now in five countries, starting out at La Havre and then failing to break through under Jose Mourinho at Chelsea. He made 13 appearances in two years and was sent on to Arsenal, where he lasted five months. So far, no good. But his £5.5 million move to Portsmouth is when he gained momentum. He showed he could defend, he showed he could carry the team forward, and in what remains a major shock, he won the FA Cup. What was more surprising was that it led him to Real Madrid where he spent the better part of four seasons and played more than 100 times. He won La Liga, the Copa del Rey and the Supercopa de España. He held his own, surviving at the highest level for a serious stretch of time. Mourinho rated him. The French midfielder playing for Angie Makarkala where he spent the 2013-14 campaign Diara had a brief spell with Arsenal but struggled with injury problems at the Emirates that is when it got weird again. He left in August 2012 for Angie, who had made Samuel Eto the highest paid player in the world and bought 38-year-old Roberto Carlos a £1 million car for his birthday. Real were happy to let him go, but in leaving Madrid, Diara had serious options in major leagues. He said it wasn't about the money. 
When the Russian funds dried up, he moved on to Locomotive Moscow and the mother of all rose with his manager, Leonid Kutchuk. They wanted to reduce his salary. He stopped training and ultimately the issue ended up in the court of arbitration for sports and the player was ordered to pay more than £6 million in fines for breach of contract. The dispute kept him out of football for an entire year, which might have ended his career except for the fact he resurfaced at Marseille and got himself back in the French national team after a five-year absence. Diara was named the skipper of League One side Marseille but was later stripped of the captaincy Diara at Lokomotiv Moscow. His second Russian club, where he fell out with the manager Diara playing for France against Germany on the night of the Paris terror attacks in 2015. Indeed, he was playing for France against Germany on the night of the Paris terror attacks when, by terrible coincidence, his cousin was killed in another part of the city. That turmoil deeply affected him, yet his career continued to thrive, with Diara made Marseille captain. He was even meant to Euro 2016 but for injury and a year later came another row, signalling the end of his time at Marseille and the start of that curious five-game stint in Abu Dhabi. If anything can be gleaned from these travels it is that it has never been simple, and it has almost always been interesting. PSG might have landed themselves an immense bargain on this free transfer. Or maybe something else.